Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to all you I came out there, pushing this word with all truth and sincerity, and to all you believers out there who believe in the gospel. And it's the brother Kwara Abad from the GMS Houston camp. And I want to come uh, back at y'all with another lesson. You know, Allah willing to be edifying. And, um, you know, what I'll probably title this lesson is, hey, get down or lay down, man. <laughs> you know, get down or lay down. You know, how Jake said in the world, get down or lay down. You know, meaning what? Either you're going to get down with the, you know, so-called crew, you know. You know, you go get down with us, ride with us, you know, believe what we believe, you know. Or you're going to have to lay down, man. In other words, get judged by the Lord. Whether it's in Jacob's trouble, the many uh, calamities that's going to hit this uh this world, mainly America. Or you're going to have to see the Lord when he come back, when he meets you with that fire, man. You know, and that's the two options for our people. Hey, because the heathens, the heathens, they're going to lay down regardless. You know, they're going to lay down regardless. You see? But our people got the opportunity to repent, to escape judgment. You see? So this message to, to the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know, we have that opportunity to uh, um, um, uh, be, a, um, you know, worthy enough to have our sins forgiven. So either you get down with the program. You know, the correct doctrine with the apostles, which in which the apostles of Great Millstone are teaching, you know, uh, um, and not just, you know, believe on the doctrine, but actually apply it and live what we speaking. That's getting down. <laughs> you see, that's walking the walk or lay down. You have to get judged because you ain't, you know, coming to the ministry or coming to this truth, man. But with that, let's hop straight into a law willing this lesson be yet or fine. All right. Let me uh, let me get this real quick. Second address. The 15th chapter And I'll start at 1 It says behold speak thou In the ears of my people The Israelites right The chosen people of the Heavenly Father Blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans so called In this modern age So we are talking to our people man To give them that warning so they can repent So it says Second Edges 15 and 1 again Behold speak thou in the ears of my people The words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And what's that paper that was written in? The scriptures, man, the Bible. And it's, check this out. Verse 3, it says, Fear not the imaginations against thee, and let not the incredulity, incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. In other words, don't worry about the unbelief of these other people if they don't want to get down with the doctrine. If they don't want to repent and change their life, don't worry about that. Let them be unfaithful because what it's going to say next if they don't get down? It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. Again, either get down or because you ain't believe, you're going to have to die, man. And it's as simple as that. Look at the generations of old and see, right? <laughs> did, any, did any ever disagree with the heavenly father and and escape judgment what it says uh what that is so rock 16 and 11 it said i will marvel if one escaped judgment you see so you ain't gonna better escape for not believing not repenting everybody gonna have to see they they judgment on what we have done on the earth whether it be good or bad man and we trying to be rewarded with that good <laughs> you see but it says for all the unfaithful will die in their unfaithfulness man you know, let's get that second Thessalonians. It shouldn't be a long lesson, like I said, but this is second Thessalonians one and six. It says, sin, it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. What's tribulation? Payback to those who trouble us. And that's those same ones we just read who have that incredulity, who have that unbelief, scoffers, right? And it says, uh, what was about to say about them. You know, it says, and to you who are troubled, the elect, you know, Lord willing, we're that number. Those ones who are willing to get down. It says, to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, 
And we at rest right now. Why? Because we know this captivity coming to an end. We know your Havasha coming back soon. You know, we know prophecy is true. We at rest. Like your Havasha said, John 16 and 33. In the world, we're going to have tribulation, but in him, peace. All right? But for the others, it says, when the Lord Jehovah shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, right? In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jehovah Shah Mashiach. So again, those ones who don't want to get down with this truth or with the gospel, what got to happen to them? They got to feel Jehovah Shah vengeance when he come back. They're going to have to lay down. They're going to have to lay down, man. <laughs> You know, then, hey, look, what the scripture says, put on that whole armor so you uh, may be able to stand, right? Stand in the day of the, of the Lord, right? Well, look, if you ain't in this truth, how you going to stand? You not. You not. You know, going through Jacob's trouble, you not going to stand. This world with the wisdom of the world ain't going to be the stability of your times in that day. Your, your resources, money, things from the world ain't going to be the stability of your times in that day. It's only going to be this truth. That's how you're going to be able to stand. But right now is the time to get that, though, man. When the scripture says, seek, and, seek the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Tell you, it will come a time when he ain't going to be near. All right, but let's continue. It says, um, verse 7, 2 Thessalonians 1. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jehovah shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. And flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jehovah Shah Mashiach. See, so it is a doctrine thing. You have to believe on the truth. You have to believe on what the apostles are teaching, what the brothers of Great Millstone are teaching. And you just don't have to be in Great Millstone because you have other brothers with um, different camp names. You know, our brothers who might be solo and they teach the same doctrine as the apostles, man. But the point is, you have to get down with this particular doctrine. You see? Or lay down. It's one way. One truth, man. You know? And it says, who shall be punished? Talking about those ones who ain't going to believe, right? When Yahweh Shah come back, it says, Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power? You see that? Those who will lay down. But for the ones who will believe, right, who getting down, it says, And when he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe. The elect will be glad in that day when Yahweh Shah come back. Why? Because we got with the program. In other words, we jumped on the bandwagon, man. We jumped on the bandwagon before they won a championship. So when Yahweh Shah come with the rings, we're going to get one. <laughs> we're going to get a crown, Lord willing. You see, we got down early enough. Look, when you make an investment to a company, it's good to, to invest when that company's starting up because you're going to get a bigger share. You don't want to wait till everybody got portions of it. No, get you a bigger share early on. That's what we have uh, begun to do, man. You see? Um, it says, and to be admired in all them that believe because our testimony, this truth, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Again, get down and lay down. You see? That is what it is. Um, Let me get 2nd Edges 8 and I end it. 2nd Edges 8. 2nd Edges. Um, let me see where I want to start. Matter of fact, it's nine. It's nine. Let's do nine. Second, that's just nine. And I'm going to start at six. It says, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved, right? The ones who got down with the program and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith. Whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the sad perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. That's the elect is putting the elect spirit to get down, to hear the word and believe, to live it. And that's why the Lord will come back and save those, man. But again, there's the other side to every coin. Let's read about the two-thirds who ain't going to want to um, jump on the bandwagon. And it says, then shall they be in pitiful case. So this is the other side. The elect and got saved. Now let's talk about the two-thirds. 
what what condition they gonna be in when the Lord bring us judgment? It says, then show they be in pitiful case which have now abused my ways. Well, shit, I ain't gotta eat pork. My, I mean, I ain't gotta stop eating pork. My grandmother's been eating pork and she died a hundred and two. <laughs> you see, I ain't gotta stop smoking, right? Who are you to tell me I can't smash another man, or woman? Those who abuse the heavenly father ways. You know, ain't want to hear his word. Ain't want to hear correction. But what, what the Lord said, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. They're going to have to be tormented. Many ways to be tor tormented, man. Newly created creatures, fire from the chariots and the missiles, right? Uh, famine, you know, concentration camp, them troops coming in, raping people. Oh, yeah. The Lord going to, hey, he going to chew this show what wrath look like, you know? You ain't gonna have to think in that day is is God all God is good all the time. No, it's gonna be clear in that day the Lord ain't all good, man. But it says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, our people. Think about these NBA players, NBA players, celebrities, rappers, they not thinking about the Heavenly Father. They receiving benefits. They living their best life. Why would they come into the truth? You know? But as they live in their life here, they don't know the Heavenly Father, neither go no salvation. Because it says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, while they yet had liberty, and when a place of repentance was opened up unto them, right now in the grace period, what they did, they understood it not, but despised it, the same must know it after death by pain. They gonna have to lay down because they ain't want to get down, man. You see, either or Moses said in Joshua, choose ye this day, life or death. Life, you getting down. Death, you gonna have to lay down. You see? You know, but Lord willing, you know this lesson was that a fine. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Dash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you I came out there pushing this word with all truth and sincerity. And to all you believers out there who believe in the gospel, hey, keep fighting, keep pushing. And with that, shalom.